Good morning, I love vlog days, and we just landed <laughs> on Oahu, and you're gonna have jet lag. Three to six hour jet lag, it's nasty. We're up at 5.30 this morning. So we're on the North Shore right now, we're gonna seize the day, and we're gonna show you a great jet lag itinerary day to get you out of the hotel or vacation rental and go explore. And have fun. There you go. We're starting the day off at an elementary school. Let's see what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Erica. And I'm Jordan, and this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Let's go. So parking is in the parking lot at Sunset Elementary School, and this is where the trailhead leads from. This is a moderate trail because you're climbing up a pretty steep dirt trail. So even during the winter time or if there's rain, it's gonna get muddy. It is about a two mile hike and it takes 60 to 90 minutes to do in total. And the reward is great views of Bonsai Pipeline, Bonsai Beach, or actually named Ehukai Beach. And that's why this pillbox is called Ehukai Pillbox or more better known as by locals, Sunset Pillbox. So you park and the trailhead is right in the parking lot. It's really hard to miss. Okay, so we made it here. It took 30 minutes exactly to get up. And we took Henry on this hike when we he, when he was like two years old and he was scared to go inside the pillbox. This time, he ran right in. It's my boy. So, pillboxes are all over Oahu and they're great for hiking, right? A lot of them are from World War II or earlier. A lot of people think they're used for like guns and stuff, but actually they're observation points for military like satellite equipment or just using your eyes to look for threats coming and then they'd radio back to headquarters at Diamond Head. So, those are pillboxes. All right, so now we're heading back down. We're gonna head up, up the North Shore, back towards Turtle Bay. There's so many great local coffee shops along the drive, some really good ones, but for the kids, we're gonna have a bigger breakfast, especially after this big hike. So we're going to a famous bakery right here on the North Shore. So with this pillbox hike, there's actually two more pillboxes on the trail where you can just keep hiking this little loop for, for two more pillboxes. And with all these Oahu trails, make sure that you stay on the trails, you pack in, you pack out, make sure to bring your water bottles with you because it is hot and humid. We love it. So right behind me is Ted's Bakery, a great local stop, great way for your breakfast in the morning. It does get a line, but moves fast. They got omelets and fried rice and Portuguese sausage and ham and eggs or spam and eggs. That's what you should get when you come here. So Ted Sara Bakery here, his family goes back three generations. His grandfather came over here from Japan to work the plantation. He leased some land right here that the sugar plantations didn't want. Started a little farm. Then his grandfather started gas station. Sorry, gas station and general store. And then when Ted took over, he started baking, making cream pies to send to Honolulu and Waikiki. And now he has got a great little bakery for breakfast, plus they make great cream pies. Just come here for it all. We're at Pupu Kim Marine Conservation Area. This is made up of two main areas. The main one is Shark's Cove. It's got a really nice beach like the one behind me. And right now it's low tide. Right now in the morning, it's only three feet deep, so it's perfect for the kids to go in and explore. So my favorite part about Shark's Cove is that it's good for kids for the North Shore. You can see lots of really nice fish down here in this nice protected cove. And like right now it's low tide. It's only like three feet deep out of there. It gets a little deeper as you get close to the walls. But like it's really nice for kids just to see some fish. It keeps it really nice and convenient. But like I said, during those winter months, man, we've seen this thing full of whitewash. It gets nuts. But right now, a nice day during the summertime, Hawaii summer, this is gorgeous. So we're gonna spend a little time hitting the beach before we head up for lunch. I know, we do lots of eating. So even though we're not snorkeling, we saw like, I don't know, 30 or something fish. It was cool. It's just like a, I don't know, quarter mile walk, less than that between Shark's Cove and three tables for snorkeling. So it's really easy, just follow the bike path.
Okay, leaving the beach, second to last stop today, and it's still very early because we just like to keep moving on this stuff. But this one is a great national historical treasure. It is a Hawaiian heiau. So this is an ancient temple. It's right above Waimea Valley. It's kind of hard to get here. Google thinks you have to go into Waimea Valley. We actually kind of, you make a right at Foodland or left at Foodland and you come up the mountain and then you can figure it out by looking at the map. But it is always worth getting some history while you're here. Read the plaques, understand why this was such a sacred place to the Hawaiians. It still is today. All right, it's 11.30 right now. It's time for lunch. Last stop of this morning itinerary. Right up the Kuhuku food trucks, right out of the Kuhuku sugar mill. I am going for poke because I am craving poke every time I come to the islands. One of the first things I get, day one at least. So it doesn't get more local than this. North Shore is known for their food trucks and these food trucks in Kahuku are wonderful. So we are at a great food truck park. We have picnic tables. We have great food. We picked up the Mexican food today. Um, most of these places take credit cards and there are even bathrooms. So this is a stop to put on your list. There's a ton of food options here in Kahuku. You can even get vegan at Raised by the Waves or you get huli huli chicken. You even have a taro place if you're looking for taro, cause you should, cause you're in Hawaii and that's what they make here. So there are so many places for shave ice, especially up here on the North Shore. You have Matsumoto shave ice, which we went to. There's Haleiwa shave ice, there's Kaimana shave ice. There's lots of options, so enjoy. And they're all locally owned spots. I know you want more things to do on the North Shore and across Oahu. So download our Oahu Wayfinder itinerary at thehawaiivacationguide.com slash itinerary. We have action-packed days to take you all around the island, show you all the best things to do. People absolutely love them. You will too. Click below to learn more.